Hello, early people. Did you give me a thumbs up? I did. Come on now. This isn't my first day on the job. Oh, you are correct in that. What is today's date? I have no idea. Hey. It's Friday, I know that. 25th. Okay, lurkers. Here we go, Pearson <laughs> says. I got a notification. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see if it'll pop on there. <gasps> I got a There's a commercial. I can't even skip or it. Or Jenna would say a commercial. Or as kids would say, ads. Yeah. Well, yeah. Same thing, but you know. She had to use the Mocha Matrol to change the Kershimal. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. How's everybody doing? I'm doing okay, thanks. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear I'm that. Glad to hear that. See us? Well, it's not Ooh. raining, so hopefully, cross your fingers, no technical Not issues. at the moment, but it is Florida, and it is the afternoon. And it's not blurry. That's at the moment. Good thing. So you can't see your phone? No. I can see it right here in my face. <laughs> so <funny. laughs> Who is... Start rating your recent Amazon, Amazon purchases. I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb. Oh, no. Do Not Disturby. It's hard. One second. Hey, Vintage and Vino. Susical. I saw Kitchy Cat in there. There we go. Warren, LaDonna. Hello and welcome. Oh. Hi, Deborah. Deborah from Wales. From Wales. It's nice. dinner time over there. Lori. I don't know why it does that. Oh, yeah, I don't understand why it blocks, like, hi. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's YouTube. Whatever. Hello, Yelena. From New York. New York, all right. Another, How are you doing? New Yorker. Oh. I gave you enough room, right? I'm just scooting myself in. <sighs> Ooh, Peterson, watermelon sounds so good. I killed a whole watermelon by myself. You did, actually. A couple weeks ago. I didn't have one piece, but oh. I didn't want one. Didn't want Gabriel one. tried it, and he was like, yep, nope, don't think I like watermelon still. And then Bianca just... No, if there was, like, caffeine in it, she would have had the whole damn thing. That might change your mind. Hi, KCATX. Hello. Caffeine watermelon. Nice. Hi, Warren. And Deanna. The round one. Peterson. She, she found emojis. She's like the emoji queen. I said that. I think I labeled queen. her the emoji queen. But they are cute, though. I love to use emojis, too. Didn't you say there were some new ones out? Yeah, there's a few, um, like there's one of the hand going like this, like, what the? F <laughs> I, I text D, and she's like, oh my gosh, where did you find that emoji? And I said, well, the phones did an update, and I found it in there. And so she sent me like a bunch of them and was like, I found it. D's getting pretty technical nowadays, mm -hmm. isn't she? She's getting all fancy. Oh, Gia, hello, and Angie Gordon. Let's have some hello. fun today. I agree. Let's We're going to try. Fun. Why not? So, I don't know about you guys, but this week I felt awful all week long. Mother Nature kicks my butt, girls, if you know what I'm talking about. I get the worst headaches on the planet, and I'm down for like a few days. They're horrible. They make me feel sick, you know? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so that's kind of why I haven't been around is like I've just been resting. And then this morning I didn't wake up until like 8.30. And I was uh, like, it's 8.30? Yeah. He's like, yeah, I think I was just tired being so tired, you know? I let you sleep. It's not like it's late. Well, I'm usually up between like 4 and 6.30. Well, not that I want to be, but I hear the cats or this or that, but not yeah. today. Well, the cats won't let you sleep. You know that. No. Or they're breaking expensive pottery Kitty pieces. Kitty cat, or... girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's why I've been kind of MIA. Um, we didn't really go much of anywhere like to go sourcing we didn't get to see diane um no nope so um we've I been know. here we've I, been 
in the time that I don't feel like crap, I've been helping him clean. He's, he built me a desk. He built Gabriel a desk. He's making Bianca a new um, art desk. He's Jesus over here. He's just been putting stuff together. <laughs> so. Hey, Angela. N Nettie. Hello. Yes, Peterson is the emoji queen. No doubt about that. Mm-hmm. Brigia. Brigia. Hello. Yes, girl. Susical. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Um, yeah, and you know what? It just felt like, I think I was talking to you guys this on Saturday. Or not Saturday. Um, Sunday sale. Like anything that was going wrong. Mm -hmm. Like you had, you got a flat tire. And the, it was just everything. Like the laundry machine. Um, we had some stuff with the bank. And then we had... Oh, it, uh, it was just felt like one thing after the other. And then I didn't feel well on top of it. So I'm like, I'm crawling into a hole. Oh, and then we hydroplane. I'm like, I'm crawling into a hole and hiding. Like, I'm not coming out Bob the for builder. five to seven huh. days. <laughs> so, yeah. That it can always be worse. Yes. We could have died. But we didn't. No, we didn't. We did not. And I've been going through like all of our bin, my art, not our bins, my bins mm -hmm. that are out there um, of like my craft stuff. Remember I asked you guys if you would be interested in like having like, I was going to do like lots of them, not like individual things like, like here, here's a box. It's a, what do they call it? Like a blind, not a blind box. Mystery box? Yeah. Like a mystery box um, of like craft things and do it like a flat price. So I was doing that. So, you know, trying to. I don't know to find different things to sell like that you guys are interested in when we can't really find the things all, all the right. things <laughs> hey Virginia hey Virginia Proud American I saw all your pictures you have very cute decor cute decor she did she had all kinds Top of shelf has new things does it well, Virginia, well, kind of. This, we just cracked it, so we, I put it up we here. I think we did. I think we I did. Think anyway. it, I think it looks. And old. then this was a piece of Roseville that we were about it. to list on eBay. Um, but so. we wanted to offer it to your. I guess. You yeah, my mom didn't it. want this one. She wanted the other one. She wanted the other color. Um, cool and then though. I have some old blocks up there. So are you keeping this now? Is that why it's no, up here? No, I just, it was, I had it like in my hand when I was looking at it and I was like, oh crap, we got to start. So I put it up there. Bree says she missed the jewelry sale. Oh yeah. Oh, my mom has a lot of jewelry. She's got plenty more jewelry. So, yeah. <laughs> and I have some brooches here. Um, I have some like, you got they're cool like, brooches yeah, today. they're like, not that they aren't always cool, but these peak my Usually curiosity. when I find them. You know, there's a little wear or paint loss or whatever, but I still see like the value and the beauty in them. These are like in really good shape. Like the lady probably kept them in her jewelry box forever. So. I got some paint loss. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, a few books today. We have, like I was telling him, I think our. A little like, lamp, a vase. Yeah, like our, our stuff, even though we didn't really get to go out and find like a whole ton of stuff. I think our mix today is pretty interesting. Oh, well, we did go to the flea market, though. Yes, we did. We and found we some stuff okay there. Yeah, we found some stuff. What, is, what else do I have from here? We went to... We did pick up a couple of things when we went to check our booth. We did. Not many. No, because Diane, Diane wasn't there. Wasn't there. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the week. I know. He Diane. looks forward to seeing her. I wonder how Diane is doing. Yeah, we we found some cool stuff at the flea market, Mom. Um, yeah, I like the flea market. But our one guy's going to be gone. That was his last week. Mm -hmm. He's going to be gone for the summer. But he's still going to stock his booth, they said, yeah. or something. He has a booth where we do. Yeah. <laughs> but we knew him before mm -hmm. and didn't know he had a booth there. It's funny how that works. So Virginia says she found a finder's keepers near us. That's funny you say that, Virginia, because probably like a month ago... Well, it's a, actually, it's a popular chain. Um, um, Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady, she, in her videos, she goes to this chain of um, almost like it's a better thrift store. I think it's 
maybe more like a consignment. It has better items, not quite an antique store, but it's a, it has thrifty type things in there. She always finds some cool stuff. Well, about a month ago when mom and I went out, we spotted something that said finders keepers. And I was like, wait, I've heard of that. Trying to think where I heard it from. Mm -hmm. We pull up and I guess the building itself is closed. Like they're not open for sale anymore. And they had like some people with like just selling stuff on tables in the parking lot. So that would have been really cool if it would have been a finders keepers because I like watching those videos. Um, but nope, sadly it was closed down. Like a lot of the things around here. Yeah. The booth did pretty well, Suzuko. Our second one, um, the first month, we were uh, very happy. Oh yeah, he tried to trick me. The first one, we we shut down, and and I see Kitchy Cat saying she wants to do it too. Definitely look where you're putting it at. Mm -hmm. Go shop the store. Shop the store. Check if, numerous if times. Numerous times. Like if there's no traffic, go different times of the day. Go different days of the week. If there's no foot traffic, question yourself. And if you do see one of the other vendors in there, just pick ask their brand. Them. I, I mm -hmm. ask a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. So but it's I would do it a lot differently. Had he known. Had I known. Had we both known. Um, so our first booth, we had it about two months. And, you know, as nice as it's turned around um, and as nice as the owner is, it just wasn't making any money. So it was kind of becoming or going to become a very expensive storage unit. And um, so... I think, what's it normally like $2 a square foot? Something it's, like it's that. It's like two, I would say between two and $3 a square foot, Kitchy Cat. Um, probably depending on where the location is. Hi, course, Juliet. And also, most of them are gonna charge you like 10% of sales mm -hmm. some of them charge you extra if the if the buyer pays with a credit card um some charge 20 percent per item so but the um, good thing about it too though is is you meet a lot of people and a lot of other yeah, vendors and you have different avenues we, yeah we buy from a lot of the vendors there and it makes it a lot a lot better that's mm -hmm. why like she's saying diane the lady we talk about all mm -hmm. the time has a booth there Every time we meet there on Wednesday to check, she normally has stuff for us. But before I had, we had um, a booth there. She was actually a viewer. Mm -hmm. And she. From a long time ago. Yes. And she watched us. So she knows things about me that like I would never in a million She's years like realize that, that yes. you guys would know and remember about me, you know? So she'll, um, she'll kind of um, cultivate the things that she has to our taste to yes. things that we say that we like or and that we And she sees sold. what's selling too and she'll bring mm -hmm. those type of items. She's very smart. That's another thing you can ask in wherever you go is, you know, not to be like, you know, cause a lot of people will look at you and be like, why would I tell you that? You're my competition. They're all but pretty in, friendly though. But yes, but if they're making money, you could possibly make money. If you're bringing in people to make money, maybe they can make money. So if everyone works together, and also it depends on like what you want to sell too. Like our so first booth them. was more like farmhouse decor type stuff, not really the kind of the stuff we get into here. Mm -hmm. And we tried going that route and it just, it didn't no, work. No, as cool as like some of that stuff is and we had some cool projects and stuff, it just sat there and sat there and sat there. So that's why you guys don't see me buying a lot of like DIY pieces unless it's something that we want for here or maybe we would try and flip it over there. Not, well, I take that back. Farmhouse DIY pieces. Right. We're not doing a lot of. Um, so, cause that didn't, that booth didn't go over well. This one, this second one, I, is this is the third time I've had an antique booth space. The other one by our old house. And then the second, the one we closed down. And then this one, and this one's by far done the best out of all of them. Yeah, and we, we stumbled upon the place kind of accidentally and uh, pretty much fell in love with the place. The people were great there. Um, they had great, great items, a lot of traffic, and they had good hours. Hi, Connie. They were open a lot to where you can get the traffic. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure of that too, that they're one, actually open. Yeah, that's one thing. I mean, I know it's like a beginner's mistake, but we really didn't consider the hours the other one was open and it wasn't much. Yeah. Which, it didn't work for us, unfortunately. Yeah, like if you go, if your place is not open on the weekends, 
and it closes before four o'clock. Before anyone can people, get off work. Yeah, it, that to me just so makes sense. So it, did, it didn't really work. Um, I mean, I get it. Like at the same time, they have lives and they have to go home and they have children and they have this and they have that. Um, so I get it because I watched my mom do that for a long time. But my mom did everything under the sun she could for her to keep her people happy and her business open and, you know, that kind of stuff. So... Just look for that kind of stuff before mm -hmm. you jump head first. Yeah, I mean, we got to drive far to get to ours, but it's mm -hmm. worth the drive. And the one we tried originally was local, and uh, which I would have did a little more research, I guess. Okay. Definitely observe it yourself, because most of them are going to say they get a lot of foot traffic, but observe it yourself. Go in different days and stuff and see what it's like. Hi, Elle. Hey, Lucin. Hi, Lucin. How you doing? What, what do you want? Do you need something? Can I have a coffee? She waits That's till we- That's strategic. She, she waits till we start this sale, so we have to like- Be nice. Be nice. I can be like, no, you already had one, young lady. Go ahead. That's it, though. Sure. And, there's, and if there's an option for a soda later, you can't have a soda. So you pick. You're gonna make another coffee, coffee or are you gonna have a soda later? Or are you guys gonna go out and get food? Well, I probably have to go <sighs> to Walmart and get some groceries. It's never a- There's bubbly water in there. Never a show without a kid interrupting. <laughs> it's a family show. It's a family it, it show, went, that's right. It wouldn't be us if we didn't have to offer- See, Ellie said, what's up, family? Naked, so... I'm naked, what? No. Eat your bacon. Oh, the bacon. bacon. You can have the bacon. There's no problem with that. Um, monthly monthly average is for a seller with similar. Okay, we so Jana, we did that too. We asked what's selling, what's yes. this, what's that. We because we want to try to cater to the people that are in that area that right. are shopping. We did try those things. So, um, I think it would have worked with our first one, but it was under new ownership, and they, she was still trying to. Shake the reputation of the last owner. Right, and unfortunately, like we didn't don't like have the time slash want to. It's not, I don't know. I don't want to make that sound mean, but like have the money to wait to see if it would be a bigger success than the person the difference, before. Difference though too is we put like a, a ton of money into this booth. Yes. It, like with the whether it being the bead and board time. and curtains and just redoing supplies, the shelving, redoing the paint, that, chalk paint, and all that stuff's expensive, as yeah. you guys know. And when we went to this other one, we were surprised because he's like, "What lighting do you want? What shelves do you want? What this, that, and the other do you want?" I'm like, "Whoa, that's an option." Oh yeah, I never had that before. They painted the booth whatever color we wanted. They bought shelving for us. They put up um, a new our black light. That was, remember the purple cabinet we had here with the black light display? Well, the first booth place, she she said she didn't turn the lights off. It burned out. So it burned out. So after being off for a little while, I guess the black light kind of came back on. So we had it on, it's at our other booth and until we can, um, till I ordered a new one, it was just kind of on. It was like barely lighting things up. And they just sent us pictures and we're like, hey, we had an extra one, we fixed it for you so right. your stuff can shine. And I was like, thanks. Like, <laughs> you got to pick the paint on the walls and everything. I yes. just reading here at Vintage of Vino, they closed their booth and they made, made more than they did. And they had a lot of theft, oh man. They That's... made more than I did and there was, a... yes. Yeah, that happens. Um, like my very first, first, booth where our old house was um and each place i'll say this too so no one thinks any kind of way we left on very good terms like oh, yeah. i like i loved both of those ladies i still speak highly of both the oh, different oh, owners absolutely. and i send people their way um and we still shop there exactly but i made more money shopping there than like flipping things from there than i was at that place um but this third place it's i don't know it's different it's it's got like a buzz. It's got yeah. It's, it's, it's got like this cool a good vibe. Nineteen like forties like vibe, and it's got like it's in a different part of the air. I don't know. It's and just it's, a little different. And it's an antique store, not a mall. So I could see how those antique malls there could be a lot of theft. That's a lot of area to watch. Some of them places are like five thousand square feet. 
you know? Yeah. Yeah. E was it Eva? Ava? I think you told me how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. We do have our booth still. We just only have one now, yes. not two. That's the one at Box of Delights in Zephyr Hills. Yes. Ended up doing just really when we stumbled upon the place, the guys were great. It was like she said, just a good vibe, a good feeling, and a lot of traffic, cool stuff, stuff we like. And we weren't, weren't even gonna get one there, and they were, had one open, or like that one's got your name on it. Yeah, what well, it's just um, it 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 feels it feels different because we didn't have to put a ton of our own work and time mm -hmm. into making it beautiful. We go there once a week. We're in that area anyway because we're buying mm. things for the sale and for eBay. So I don't feel like it's taking up as much time and energy and we don't have to be there watching it and things are selling. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like I, I can just leave it sit there and it's doing okay. And I think the, the key is also too is we shop everywhere, you know, hundreds of places. And we, you'll know, like, I don't go in this booth, I don't go in this one. This one normally does good prices. This one will be on sale. We didn't want to be the people that don't have items that turn over and that are overpriced and stuff like that. So we keep things moving and keep people coming in. And it seems to be working. Right? Mm-hmm. I wish, Virginia. <laughs> but I don't want everyone coming to my house either. <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got one left, Lucid. Oh, I think I have pictures on my Instagram, I think. I'm pretty sure I do. Mm -hmm. But we are going to update them. I think you might do a shop with me there. Yeah. You one in a while. Yeah, I haven't done a shop with me in a little bit there. You guys know how antique stores are. Sometimes it doesn't rotate as fast as a thrift store. So I think like once a month I could probably be safe. And I won't hear people in the comments like, I already saw this. We already saw this right. before. This is the same thing you showed me. Blah, 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 blah. Because I do say that. So, anyways, now that I've talked for it, 20 it's, it's minutes. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's exciting. And the first month, it did You're not allowed to run the sale. Better than we did. thought we did. We, we ran a sale um, for yeah, about just 10 days. Yeah. Was it 30% off? Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, like Lucy was just saying, stagnant inventory, yes. And that's one of the big things the owner said. He doesn't want it to be stagnant, Yeah, he of said that before. Like, he's like, we got to keep things rolling. And then they, this one's cool because they have, like, a dollar table and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and, and you have, like, a little room, vendor room, where you can keep extra stuff. Yeah, so even can... if you want them to switch it out mm -hmm. for you... Like, we can call them it. and be like, hey, can you guys put out X, Y, and Z? I can't make it down there. Sure, you have a little spot. They have like drinks for you back there. They have a little food. You can put like your tools and whatever you need and store it on like your spot back there. It's really cool. Yes. So you'll have another shop with me coming up. And they're ex kind of expanding. So they're gonna have more booths in there now. Cause it was full. Hmm. What you um, I was just reading like Jana's thing and- Okay. Just seeing what they're they're having questions to find a place. But yeah, definitely in short, definitely do a lot of research. And uh, yeah, you're right. Vintage conversation. You have to, but we have both. Like we had um, the owner told us that there are a bunch of resellers that shop there, and they were saying that our prices were still fair enough for them to go and put it on eBay. Mm -hmm. So they were still able to buy from us where they felt like they were getting a bit of a deal, and they could still go make money online. So, right, And that's what we try and look for too. Like I'm trying to do. support the booths and support the small businesses, um, but I still have to feed my family too. So, you know... Hello, Lori. Lolo Potter. Hey, girl. Pamela Hammett. I think Pamela says she's on the way home to catch the, <gasps> your sale. All right, Miss Pamela. Miss Pamela Hammett. Did but, you get your box? No, you wouldn't have got your box yet. Probably no. Probably no. Not. No. Oh, okay. So, anyways, I, if that wasn't interesting to some of you people there, hey, I Katie. apologize. But I like to talk to you guys about. Well, what's I going think it's on. interesting because a lot of people probably have thought about doing it, what and I, I kind of wish I would have had the advice. Head. Not that I'm a professional, but I've learned with this booth what works. Let me see what's above your head. That's the honey jar. That's my little um, honey jar, Virginia. It's a lusterware honey jar. 
Yes, I saw Katie's oh, new t-shirts. They are cool. Oh, did you? I haven't been on Instagram either, you guys. Oh, I just felt like crap. Yeah, you did. You had, hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy girl. Okay, I haven't seen Miss Cindy. Hey, LaDonna. I haven't seen Cindy. Cindy likes books, so know that we have books. We have some jewelry. We have some glass. We have some pottery. We have a handbag. We have we have all kinds of different things. I don't think things. I've I seen think, Joanne yet either. Hey, Kara. I think, hey, Kara, I, like I, think I missed you. Hey, Kara. Sorry about that. Vintage Viking treasures. Hello and welcome. Roxanne. That's lucid. That, that's kind of interesting because they're really not that expensive here because... It takes a specific person to want that. Like I usually see the, the women's one, the um, Northeastern Star something something something. Um, I see that a lot actually. Hello, Connie. Hey, girl. It's okay. The whole story. It's okay. Yeah. Some people don't like the chatter, but I'm just tell you guys what's going on. Hi, Krista. I, like I said, I think that's useful information because I'm sure a lot of people, they Hi, Roxana. like Hi, Roxanna. Eastern, stuff. that's what it was. Did I say Northeastern Star? <laughs> oh, my God. Who and I have I people. Sample, samplers, you or D? Um, me. Was it you? Yeah, remember we sent the, the 1890s sampler and it went to her old address and oh. the people kept it and didn't forward it on. I think it was to My Life is Antique White. It was supposed oh, to go to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. was like the only time I found one of those things. That sucks. Oh, going to Pocono, Mary. Awesome. Oops. That's a, nope. That's Don't a, hide Susical. That's a big trek. Pocono Mountains. Wow. Wow, what? P just people that get to travel. Like, it's so, it's, I think it's I easier when you live in the central part or anywhere but Florida, since Florida is so gigantic. Seal says, no, I want to know. I feel part of the family. Oh, yeah. Well, we were just talking about, like, the booth and stuff. Some people were asking us questions. And then I was saying how I felt like I wanted to cry and run and hide under a rock all week. So, hi, Miss Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. So, that's, that, that's about it. Yeah, we were just going over, like, do's and don'ts in our opinion about the antique booths and things like that. Mm -hmm. because uh, well don't take ours our word for gospel what what no. works for us might not work for you well and vice versa no, but exactly. if you wanted to ask me i'll tell you yeah like, but if you're not you're not telling them what items to sell you're telling no. them what to look for and to no pick and one, i will never it. ever tell you like this is going to make you uh no, like no. a butt ton of money or this won't I always tell you guys in the videos that you shop within your budget, shop within your means because, well, you just have to, you know, mm -hmm. don't try and, you know, because you see it in a video, someone spend $25, $45 on a vase and think that you can go flip it for that. It doesn't mean that you can. I'm more interested so. in the Encrustables. Ooh, you got we some Encrustables? No, the kids ate them the all. I got to write it on my list. Out. You do feel this? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a long yes, week. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to cut the darn grass again. Oh, yeah. Mm. What are they teasing me for? What did I do? Oh, nothing. Just about oh, the crustables. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll never tell you guys, you know, like, this is going to make you, like, a bank load of money. Um, I just tell you to shop within your means and just try it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then look things up. Some people poo-poo on that, but how are you going to know? How are you going to get the and knowledge you if you don't research too. it and look it up? How are you going to know? So if you can't look it up, that's when it takes being pretty good. You know, that's when it takes like you having a certain eye. Like when we're in the flea market, I don't get a signal for poop. So it takes, is it in my budget? And having a certain eye for things like. Hey, there's Cindy J. I don't know. I kind of like weird stuff, you know. So that kind of works out for me because odd things typically sell. So some people don't have like an odd eye. Some people look at it and go, why are you buying that? That is creepy, you know? And everything so, goes in cycles too and what sells. Right. And Cindy J's here. Hey, Miss Cindy girl. She's got some stuff for you, Cindy. I do. She thought you would like. She was looking for you. Yes, Virginia. You and me, like we, we like the weird stuff. Bring it on. Yep, nothing okay. wrong with that. All right. I've been talking. So we have, I have a Christmas grab. No, not, what is it? Mystery, Mystery box. box. 
I want to say like a blind bag or a grab bag, but that's not what it it's is. A, it's a priority Christmas box. Christmas mystery box. I didn't weigh it though. I'll weigh it because I, I saw you didn't weigh it. It's still a haul to get to the eastern states and have lots of stuff from call. Yeah, but see, with, with you're in Colorado, you can get to the other ones fairly quickly. It takes us about 8, 10 hours just to get out of Florida. I mean, people in the central... Unless or, you have a boat. Well, yeah, unless you have a boat. <laughs> um, you know, they can within a couple of hours, you guys can be... Wh whichever side you live on can be in another, like, five different states. You know what I'm saying? It just takes forever here. So, um, oh, you got your creamers, yay! You know, they were just, I decorated with them at my other house and they've been sitting in a box since we moved in here. And I'm like, Alex, just be honest with yourself. We're gonna have a heart to heart conversation and you're not gonna put these out right now because you have other things out. So I had to talk with myself and you guys got to buy the little bitty collection I had. Anyways, today. Oh, good, Krista. Mm, six hours to get out. Smack in the middle. Oh man, yeah. See, that's how it is in Florida. Poop. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this. Are you doing that first? No, but the oh. Christmas box weighs four pounds. There's four pounds of like ornaments and all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. So it's in a big party box. In a big priority box. Um, you put them in the, your 4th of July display? You'll have to show. If it's on Instagram, I'm sorry. I've hardly been on there. Or YouTube, if you guys seen. I haven't had like a video all week. Ugh. And we had a huge order for buttons. Like there's this one guy that buys um, buttons. He was buying buttons um, like before and then COVID and then he couldn't go out. He does, he takes and does um, um, stuff for the VFW, for the veterans. And so he'll buy buttons from me that say like United States Army, United States Air Force, Marines. And then if you like donate five bucks or something like that, they get a pin. So um, Gabriel, he knows how to work our machines and I like, I, he did a, he helped me do an order before. And what did he get before with the first order? I think he wanted to buy something specific. I can't remember. I but know. with this order, um, it was a lot. He made a lot of buttons. It was like six orders of 75 and then something, something. It took him a couple days to do it. But he earned himself like $150. So, so we also had that to do. <laughs> I don't know how you do it all as a mom. It's from 4 a.m. till when do you stop? About 8? Uh, Normally. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know how I do it I think it, it just finally caught up with you this mm -hmm. week. Can oh, bye Viking treasures. <sighs> Anyways. All right. But he's been working. He's been a little working man. Yeah, he has. He's, oh, he helped you do the yard and he got his basketball hoop. He did a bunch of yard work. And there was, our neighbor was selling their basketball hoop down the street. And that's how he got his basketball hoop. Yep, that's how you and, do it. But he, he got the 150 but he had to put 100 into his savings. And then he bought a video game on Amazon, and he has $20 in his pocket. So, now, I guess I'm done talking. <laughs> Already? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. What are we going to do here? Should we do an offer up or ooh, a regular price item um do a regular price regular price in nope she said nope <laughs> well it's not i just know it's on regular price um, i don't think any of these are oh i have some of these that are um okay so i put together i had a big bin of a bunch hi aaron hey aaron um i put a a bunch of these together, of all these like doily type things. Um, no. no, we don't do that, Tammy. No, just in case. I didn't explain anything. All that talking and I didn't explain anything. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, you probably should. Um, okay, so if you're new here, you, and if you, if I don't have any of your information, 
Oh, she's she said. <laughs> that's All right. That's um, funny, Tammy. So send, you can send your information to chapter2vintage at gmail.com. It's all one word, no, no numbers. Um, I need your real name, your uh, YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email because that's how I'll send you an invoice. We're shipping from Florida, and your shipping isn't included in the price of your item. And we do our very best to get you the best price we can. We just got in some special boxes for vases. Yes. Um, because we were having to do, like, oversized boxes to protect them, and it kind of wasn't working. So, um, yeah. And boxes aren't as easy to get as you think. No, anymore. they're not. Especially, we don't live... Like in a store with like, okay, they don't have it. Let's go check Office Depot. Well, they don't have that. We'll go to Staples. We don't have that option. They're constantly out of stock. Order them online. They've been yes. out of stock. Even the, the packing paper stuff. <laughs> but uh, so you have flat priced items and offer up items. Yes. You are continuing that. Oh, okay. All right. So we have both flat price and offer up items. So anyways, I went through this big bin that I have, and this might not look like a ton, but it, it, it's basically, it's a grab bag. These for the, for like, I would say 98.9999999% these are just fine. There's no spots. If I miss something because everything's so tiny, I'm sorry. Um, but there's, 10 of these, they're either like doily size or dresser scarf size, like crocheted things. Oh, hi, everyone coming in. Yes, hello, Annette. Um, I don't, I can't pronounce, you, tell me how to pronounce your name. Laonda, is it, am I saying that right? Hello. <laughs> um, so there's 10 pieces in here. And like I said, they're different sizes, but they are like big. I have a lot that has like little guys like this, but they're big, bigger, dresser scarves and doilies, all of those like crocheted type ones, um, 10 pieces, it's $20 and it's number four. So there's 10 pieces. And like I said, it's a grab bag, but I did my best to... Oh, someone, okay, good. I have a, like a bunch more if you guys are interested. These are the ones that are like um, Thank the, you, Norma. the white and the cream colors, but there are some really cool, like intricate, however they sewed that. They're good for your cast to lay on when you put them on your dresser. Mm, no. What, what number is that? You said oh, number wait. four. No, it's not. It was a lot number four. I'll just write yeah. that down. <laughs> Yeah, you'll know what it is. So it's number 31. Oh, man. Okay, do me a favor, Norma. Type in number 31. Because I said to you lot number four. Because you got a, a lot of lots. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Norma. Thank you. Just so much. if people need to go back and see it, um, that one's True. done. Okay. So now we have a little offer up. This one's so cute. This looks like a kid that's in like a cat costume. It's made in Japan. This is going to start at $12. It's got blue polka dots all over them. You got it right, she said. Oh, I did. Yay. Okay. I couldn't even get Eva's name. I think it's Eva, but I kept saying Ava or Eva. No, I think it's Ava. Oh, I couldn't even get that right. Starts at $12. She's so cute. The one thing I will say is right on the tip of this ear, it's just a little rough little part. But look how cute she is. She's stamped Japan. Very cute. She's got lashes. So we have Tammy, Tammy at $12. Tammy at $12. Anybody else? Uh, Cindy J. Cindy's at 13 I know Disney. a lot of people collect the little mid-century people. These were one of our flea market finds. Little blue polka dots. You can put that in your little 4th of July display. Cindy's at 
Did you? Let us know if you're out. Okay, that's what I was getting. Yeah, so for the new people, this is how you would make offers. They have to do dollar increments. And then when you're out, you just type out. So I don't like, I'm not waiting for you. I think so, Tammy's got it. Tammy's at 14. Your daughter would love it. Yeah, I found a, a bag of, I don't know if you guys remember. Hi, Joanne. Joanne, I was looking for you. If you guys remember, or maybe like your grandkids like them, but they're called um, calico critters. They're little toys. And Bianca wanted the black cat that was in there and she stole them out of there. I found a bag of them. All right, so Tammy is at, nope, Miss Cindy's at 15. I'd say this is about Ooh. what? Three inches or so. Yeah, I'd say it's about that. Okay. I see what she's doing. She heard, I'm going to Walmart. So she's starting to get ready already? You getting ready? Yeah. I have, I have like, to be ready for Walmart, I have to prep for like three hours. Three hours to go to Walmart, okay. <laughs> so I think Cindy J still has the high offer. All right, so I'm gonna start to call it so these don't take a long, long time, okay? And Peterson, in the chat, I think she's going to do she's it. She's doing it. Um, she's gonna type stop for me. And then whoever- Is above the stop. Ab mm -hmm, whoever's above the stop with the highest offer gets to buy the item, okay? So we're gonna say $15 going once. Oh, you do, Kitchy Cat? $15 going twice. All right, and I'm gonna say sold. And then Peterson will do. Wait, oh, I think she might've got it. Let's see. There it is. Okay. There it is. So we have Tammy, is it Dubay for 16? For number 17. All right, thank you, Tammy. She probably have it. She didn't put have to put that just in case thing in there or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Look, you guys. Look at this. And then we got lucite book like ends. bookends, and I have an antique autographed book. I have this. Antique hand base. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, boy. Have this little guy here. Oh, this little guy is so cute. Okay, mm -hmm. now do you want to pick one? Um. Hi, Side Street Market. Oh, Hello. she just took away her thing. What about the... This well, guy? We just did a cat, no? didn't we? Yeah. We'll do a bird then. We're going to do a bird. Do a bird. All right. right. This is going to start at $14. It is signed, it looks like it says Netsy or something, Mex 4, something like hey, that. Hey, Tiffany. And Crazy Little Critters. Hi. And Vintage Collectibles, Juliet. So the this is guy, cool. yeah, this guy is going to, oh yeah, I hope it doesn't rain. I'm going to try. You know it'll be raining here in a couple hours. Hi, right. Jamie. Um, okay, so this guy starts at $14. He's the, no, I didn't sell the purse, Joanne. I was just showing you guys what I had. Same Dolores. I just know what I paid for it. Anything yeah, exactly. glowy today? I don't think I don't think so. we have a glowy thing today. No. We got a different spread today. All right, thanks, Tammy. Okay, I don't see anybody for this one. Nope. Also, I probably need to refresh periodically here. Yeah, see how behind I am? Like, I didn't even have, like, my normal thumbnail. We were, like, sweeping and mopping and vacuuming and doing laundry, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, my gosh, what time is it? All that fun stuff. Okay, this is something from my personal collection, actually. It's a little, little gnome planter. There's no chips or cracks or anything. Um, there is some crazing 
He was in my little cabinet, the glass cabinet. He stamped Japan on the bottom. I love him, he's cool. This guy's $15 and it's number two. $15 number two. Hi, Shirley. Shirley. Hey, Shirley. Well, a few people like that. I'm glad. Good. Um, okay. So this guy is going to start a little higher. He's interesting. He's neat. He's one of the German um, incense burners or a, a smoker or whatever you want to call it. He's going to start at $20. He's actually pretty big. So he has his like, his tag doesn't say anything anymore, but he has his tag. You're going to need a tape measure eventually, um, I would imagine. You take his top off here and you put a little incense cone in him. And then you put the little top back on and the smoke comes out his pipe out his mouth well out his mouth hole there and he's got like a fruit basket so he's just like probably a little peddler or something going around selling his fruit and he's gonna start at twenty dollars he had i know he's german but they took his sticker off so I think he's neat. He reminds me of a few years ago, I did really well with, um, I found at St. Vincent, I think, um, German, why can't I think of them? Like nutcrackers, the toy soldier guys. So, okay, I don't think anybody for this one, babe. Okay. Where's your no-no pile? Oh, oh, over there with the bird. I got it. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, Joanne said 20. Okay. Joanne I took got... something from my head, but I still feel like a little something coming on. You're getting better, though. So, PLB? No, no pile. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say $20 going once. Twenty dollars. Peterson's already oh. ahead of you. <laughs> That's Peterson. fine. She's telling you to hurry She's up. She's like, already. hurry this Come crap on. up. So sold, Joanne. <laughs> um, what did you miss? You missed a, a um, Mexican pottery bird that didn't sell. The other couple of things sold. I can get that. You can do that one. Where you, okay. We can go back to it. Next, we have this little dog figurine guy. He starts at twelve dollars. And he's stamped with an upside down Japan on the back. That's interesting. Yeah, he's cool. He's not a salt shaker or anything. He's just a little dog figurine. Little figure. He looks like he has like stitches. <laughs> she says, Alex, I'm happy that you talked to us. <laughs> That's funny. All right. She's happy. At least it works out for someone. At least someone's happy you talk too much. <laughs> okay, CLC is at twelve dollars. Yeah, he's like a quilt. Like a quilt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's neat. Hello, Grandma Fifty. 50. Um, Precious Lavender is at thirteen. You're the same girl. Okay. <laughs> Has Erin done a sale yet since she's been on? I don't break? think so. She was kind of going through what I was going through, like overwhelmed and oh, I bet they from moving and painting and kids and crying and blah. Looks like she's got a nice CLC's little setup. At fourteen, though. I know. I'm envious of her black wall. She, they made it look so good. Yes, yeah, it looks very nice. Okay, Joanne's at 15. This guy, oh wait, he brought me the tape measure. It's, I couldn't find your other one, but. That's okay. He's just under four inches tall. Just under four inches tall. And I don't see any, ch I mean, his little face has a little scuff right there, but that's probably what um the barkeeper's friend, you know, can help. And 
And it is, but I'm dealing better now. Yeah, you know, um, do you see any, I'm not seeing any bidding. Yeah, there is, Joanne's at 15, so. Yeah, Joanne and CLC. Maybe refresh, I don't know. CLC's at 16. <sighs> yeah, some days, you know, like I was saying earlier, you wanna crawl into a hole and like hide. And then some days you feel like you can take on the world, you know? That's true. And last week I wanted to hide. <laughs> so what's today? Can you take on the world today? Maybe just Half of the part world? of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Precious Lavender Buns at $20. Yes, it is. Yes. Exciting and, mm -hmm. and stressful. Mostly stressful. Hi, Julie B. Or Jewel. Sorry, if it's Jewel. Oh, it's okay. All right, so CLC's out. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna say going once, going twice. Did you? We're gonna say sold and wait for Joe, not Joanne. Peterson. I know what Joanne's doing, what Peterson does. Surprise, Peterson didn't there we go. stop in five minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. Okay, so. Um, number 21 goes to Precious Lavender Buttons for $20. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Joanne. He's very cool. Is today the day that Danny goes on or is that Sunday? It's today. Oh, so I gotta stop talking. Okay. Sunday is the day you can go long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Okay, the next thing, I can't believe I'm selling this. Yeah, that's neat. It is an antique autograph book. It's gonna start at $20. I did pay up for it because I was gonna keep it. But he's like, no, I think actually people are starting to like that stuff, not just you. Cause he was joking with the guy like saying, you know, she loves like a bunch of dead people. She has dead people hanging up all over the house. So maybe I'm not as odd as he thinks I am. Anyways, this was neat though. Yeah, it is filled with all kinds of signatures. And I mean, just the book alone is pretty neat. Almost every single page, and they're dated. Um, let's see. There's like poems in here. There's just like, like that one says September 26th, 1933. Wasn't there some earlier in there at the beginning or no? Um, and look, it says autographs from my friends in air quotes. <laughs> yes, there are dates. Yes. You did not say the number for the German incense. Um, he was... I think it was an offer up, wasn't it? Or, oh, that's what they need to be off. She did get it, though. Yeah, it is... I thought so. Wait, 19. no. Did she get it? Joanne got it. Did I not write it down? No, I didn't. Okay, it was number 19. Number 19. Sorry about that. All that excessive rambling. <laughs> okay, so your birthday is September 26th. Oh, mine's the 3rd. September 3rd. Um, okay, so yeah, lots of dates in here. This one says August 11th, 1927. It says, because Martha... It says, because Martha, my name is the last in your book. Don't let me be the last in your memory. Carice. You are not last, oh wait, cause. I thought I was saying oh. like her name was Carice. Um, cause, you are not last in mine. Cecilia Christ. August 11th, 1927. 19. And then you go fast forward to 1943. So her name was Martha. July 7th or 9th, 1947. 47. 33, 47. So I guess it's just things she did. She saved the book. You know, they weren't as disposable as now where mm -hmm. you can just get a bunch of books. Go to Walmart and get one. Right. That's her mom's That's name. That's your mom's name? Oh. Okay, so I don't think anybody's for this Did you one. even give a starting price? I did, I said $20 oh, a long okay. time ago. Okay. Peterson says, is that a offer or what is that i guess i don't know i don't know 
Oh, she put in, okay, Peterson for $20. All right. You got to put stop in there, though. Hey, you can't control that. I'm surprised it didn't come right after that. What? This one says, I hope your life be bright and sunny and your husband fat and funny. <laughs> Ruth something. 19, September 6, 1927. Madonna says Martha is her mother's name too. And she just put in the offer at 25. Of all the things you ever do, don't forget we do miss you. Princess Howell. Hmm. August 15th, 1927. And then it says Tampa, Florida. Oh, wow. When you think of the girl who wanted you to wear red, the girl who called you Marthy, the girl you thought, no wait, the girl you thought was out of her head. Oh, see how they spell thought, T-H-O-T? That's me. <laughs> So you got their address on that that's one. That's what she said. My best wishes for you always, Stella. All right. Well, Peterson is out, so it looks okay. like Madonna. At 25. So she can start calling it, or you can start calling it. All right, so $25 going once. Yep, she did. $25 going twice. All right, we're gonna say sold to LaDonna. LaDonna for $25. That is number four. Thank you, LaDonna. Yes, thank you. I have some in here. See those books back there? Those are antique autograph books. See it say autographs on it? Oh, wow. Those are my own. Well, not mine, mine, but mine. <sighs> All right. Okay. Get do you want to pick something else? Or did you want to show this? Uh, oh, I don't know if you want to show Pamela. She, I think Pamela, she Miss Pamela, this was the bird you missed. And I was starting it at $14, but it didn't do nothing. It flew over there onto the shelf. <laughs> it went to the no-no pile. It's not really a pile yet. But, okay, so why don't you do this little guy? He's neat. All right, we have this antique, I believe. Because a lot of times these say Hong Kong, and this does not say it. And it looks like that French, like, opaline, that blue. It's see-through. Like, I can see right through it. Um, A little, you just need your... This is what I do. This is what people are gonna ask me to tell them. And I'm gonna be like, uh. Isn't it the wick or something? Well, it doesn't have the wick, but they need the shade. That's shade. what it is. Oh my gosh, the hurricane shade. Um, that's what I don't want to happen. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, You'll be fine. this is gonna start at $20. This one is beautiful. It and is. like I said, it's, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that it's see-through? Yes. Well, gosh, can you can't. Mm. Because the light is behind it. Well, it is. It is. Trust us. And so here's the bottom. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a pretty color too. Yes, for sure. Of course it is, it's blue. Mm -hmm. on yep we're gonna move on all right the next one hi Kathleen the next thing I have is this beautiful I think this kind of glows under the black light but that was about the only thing that glows oh thanks Peterson <laughs> um do, 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 do. simple clear glass shade yes it would I think so too um we'll just We'll put that lamp on eBay. Okay. Um, anyway, so we have this bomb purse. 
on the inside. This is gonna start at $20, okay? It is fantastic. The only thing I noticed is right here, it's missing one bead, but it's in such good shape. Um, on the inside, it has, I don't think it goes to it, but it kind of matches because the purse, come on now, there we go. The purse has a, I don't know, it has this tag that looks like it came off that says made in Italy, this old tag. And on the inside, it had this little bag. It doesn't go to it because it says made in Hong Kong, but you know, it goes to it. It matches, but here's the inside. It's in really great shape. Oh yeah, of course. Pamela, nope, Tammy's at 25. So you get both. You get the handbag and this little thing. So like I said, it kind of matches, but it doesn't technically go to it. Here's the sides. Does it have that old smell? Yeah like a thrift store. I mean, not on the outside, really. Let me see on the inside. Hello, angel girl. Let me see. I mean, kind of. It reminds me of the thrift store. It smells old to me. Le yeah. I got a bigger nose. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Kimberly at 35. I think I'm gonna get a water. I'll get you one, hold that. Here's the bottom. What flavor do you want? Um, I'll take the pineapple coconut. Okay, Tammy's out. Yep, that's how you do it. We have Kimberly at 35. If I'm looking at that correctly. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Joanne's at 36. Mm hmm Yep, that's what I usually do when I send like fabrics and stuff. I put a um, dryer sheet on the inside. If this happens to get to 50, it's $5 increments at $50. It speeds it up a smidge. Ooh, you'll take one, here you go. Cheers. Um, Joanne's at 45, Kimberly's at 50. to get a straw though. Why don't you tell me when I was already up? I thought you would just know. No, I'm like Little man is outside with grandpa. So I'm gonna shop. Ooh. Me too, Katie. All right, so, nope, Joanne's at 55. Joanne, is this something you're gonna collect or is it gonna go in your booth? Because I remember you sending me but I think it was someone else's booth. You sent me pictures of their purse collection. But Joanne knows her purses. It's interesting. The color's cool. I like to tell Aaron you need a napkin now. I do, actually. It's gonna make a ring. Pamela, you're on it too. Uh, okay, Joanne is out. So we have Kimberly Porter at $60. So... I'm gonna say $60 going once, $60 going twice. Okay, I'm gonna say sold. We'll see. <laughs> Hi, humbled in him. Okay. So we have $60 to Kimberly Porter, and that is number 16. I don't find cool handbags often at all. I used to. That's what um, I used to just do handbags and like accessories and jewelry on eBay. Like when I very, very first started, like 5,000 years ago, um, but I don't find them very much anymore. So we'll put that over there. All right. Hi, Pamela13. Renews it? Yep, it's the Renews It. Um, okay, so wait. Oh, wait, that goes to the purse. Sorry. Okay. You write 
Kimberly Porter. And Kimberly, I don't know if you've emailed your information yet. I didn't see anything pop up. Usually I can see it come across my screen when people send me an email. So if you want to go ahead and send us your information, um, if you email chapter2vintage at gmail.com and you would send your, there you go. Oh, you just did a second ago. Okay, maybe I wasn't looking. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I put on it, do not disturb. That's so why it's not telling emails? me. You no, know, you won't get anything until tomorrow. Sorry, well, I forgot just... I hit the do not disturb button. Good to know, because I, I didn't know it did that. Hello, humbled in him. No, I won't get anything. Like, it won't even beep for Instagram. I thought it just stopped for... Uh, no. Oh, I forgot your darn napkin. Oh, those gummy vitamin things? I was looking at those. Hmm. I was looking at those. I was actually looking at some, like, for Bianca, too. Um, okay, next thing we have is this really cool uh, seagull. It, to me, it's very sort of mid-century slash 70s. It has the remnants of a sticker. Something, things, nautical and then Florida. It's a remnants of a sticker there. So this is an, a legit Florida piece. It has a marble base. This is gonna be 15 and it's number 10. Okay, Kimberly. No? Okay. Ow, my back. We can move on. Okay. Goes to the no no pile. Do you want to pick something? Do what you just had. Why not? Well, I was going to go over here, and then I was like, mmm. Okay. We have a fairy lamp. Now, this one, in our opinion, is a bit like cooler. Then the other one, because it has like flowers, then our other ones we had last week. Um, while I like all of them, this one has some flowers and stuff. I forget who made this one. Was it Home Co, Avon? What you looking for? Piece of paper? Oh. Do you see the thing over there? Yes. Okay. Um, this is going to start at $20. Wait, you didn't see anything in there. What do you mean you didn't see anything? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Angel Girls at 20. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Sorry, I wasn't looking. So, okay, Chris is at 25. Oh, hi, dorky Disney mom. She says, I met you yesterday oh, at right. the Spring Hill Goodwill. Well, hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? I was thinking like a... Yeah, we didn't get her name. We didn't get her name. Yeah. Angel Girl is at 20... The seagull went too fast for Virginia. I th oh, okay. I'll go back to the seagull. Is that what you guys were talking about? Yeah, he's like, he's like, see, you're not unapproachable. Because I apparently am very intimidating and people don't want to say hello to me. And you're actually somewhat friendly. No, you're friendly. I'm messing with you. <laughs> um, okay, so Angel Girl's at 28. Did you? No, I don't know how to do the thing. Am I supposed to hold you this and up? my mom don't know how to work the computer. No, I do not. You are right about that. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. You would... Somewhat. She's great, Peterson, of course. Peterson is on it. Barbie, looks like She Barbie said somewhat. Tails. No, I said somewhat. Yeah, she's... Barbie Tails at 44. Yes, Katie. What Katie do? I, I know, I've been saying that. Katie, we need to 
We're not that far, are we? It'd be almost like leaving, so like seven hours, if we went just to her. <laughs> Your mom says, leave me out, that's a Mac, it's not, that's not normal. I agree with you. Huh? You said me and your mom don't know how to operate that thing. Oh. It's a Mac. It's a little bit different. Um, okay, so what are we at? I see Krista Morgan is out and then Barbie Tails. Yes, we're both in Florida. I think she's in northern Florida, right? That oh, will Katie, be, yeah. That would be cool, Aaron. Yeah, she usually goes to Disney, well, I think. Well, I'm right. You guys go because I remember your like videos and stuff. I think it's Disney you go to. Okay, Norma Jacobs at forty six. Aaron will be really fun to meet. So would Katie. And actually, and Pamela? you know who has a crush on Aaron? Who? Robert. When he when I did the sale with her, he was like, "Oh my gosh, she's so she's adorable." Pretty. Yeah, one of our friends has a crush on you. Okay. Okay, so Barbie Tails is putting in 50. Um, okay, and Norma's out. So, yep, Disney. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so Barbie Tails, um, is that, no one, was everyone else out? I think so, yes. Okay. So we're going to call, but we're, we're, we're a lot closer to Disney than we used to be. We're like maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> I will jump on my broom and be there really soon. We can we can coordinate brooms, okay? Right. <laughs> okay, so fifty dollars going once, and we'll fifty dollars going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold. So Christine's not far from us either. No, that's why I said we have to like. Meet up before we, next year? Yeah. Whenever that thing is? Mm -hmm. Well, don't say it out loud because I don't know if they're telling people. Oh. Like it was supposed to be a surprise. Two hours from Disney. So Katie's not that far either. All right. So Barbie Tales, um, send me over your information. We'll write your name down. And that's number 23. Number 23. But obviously your name isn't Barbie Tales. So you'll have to... Send us an email to Chapter 2 Vintage. I don't know who makes that fairy lamp. I want to say... It's, it's cool, though. With all the information that I look up, you guys, I can't retain it all. I can't. I don't remember, honestly. I don't I don't know why Avon is sticking in my head, but I don't think it's Avon. Um, anyways, so make sure you send us over email, chapter2vintage at gmail.com. I need your YouTube name because that's how I'll try and search you in my email because I don't know your real name. Your real name. No, it's not Fenton. I don't think so. I don't know. It doesn't have a thing on it. Just because of those little bubble things? Mm, I don't think so. Um, so your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. Um, what do you need? Well, I'm just going to write down the other person just in case. What number was that? 23. And, oh, wait. Did you go back? <laughs> um, I'm going to write down Norma's name just in case. Okay, okay. You never know. Meet up at Renegers. Mount Dora, and we can say hello to George, antique nomad. I don't really care for Mount Dora area. It's expensive because it's, it's yeah. a very, it'd be like going to the antique stores downtown in St. Pete because it's very touristy. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to see the stuff, but then I'll want it and I don't want to pay that. No. Um, hi, Kim. Hey, Kim. Eco relics? What's that? Hmm. Yeah, George um, is pretty cool. Yeah, he was nice. Yes, Aaron. Cheap. Because I'm more of, I have more of a reseller brain than a collector brain. Your mom says, what? Mount Dora is nice. It's nice for sure. It's nice. It's beautiful, but it's expensive. 
At one antique mall. Like, like I would love, Ooh. you could like go stay at a bed and breakfast down there. You can go like, like kind of like St. Augustine. That would be another really expensive place, but it is absolutely gorgeous and lovely. And I would love to be there like every day, but they're very expensive to buy from there. Yeah, my ELA teacher asked me what we were doing this summer if we had any vacation plans. I just told her we're going to St. Augustine. Um, okay, so we're moving on. Okay. Next thing. You got this, you got the dog thing. You got a book. What about that book? Oh, okay. You got some brooches. What are you eating? You know, I don't really like those cashews as much as the other one we get. What's the difference? I don't think there is maybe salty. Yeah, still nothing. So I'm just trying over here. Yeah, sitting up there. Yeah, you're not supposed to have food in your room. Just because she's doing the thing. All right, so we have a identification book, right? Yep, where's Deirdre? Where's Deirdre? I haven't seen Deirdre. It's a Lady Head Vases identification book. It's, I hate the crunch on camera. It's but pretty interesting. I'm going to crunch on camera. Sorry. And it is color pictures here. And what else do I need to tell them? Starting price? Starting price. It's offer up starting at $8. Mom, they want you to put a link to your shop. It's an ebook. It's very helpful. I've been going through a lot of those books. This is, um, oh, Dee has this book. I, this is a double. We picked it up from Diane. And um, the owner of the store bought the rest of her books. We bought a few. And I thought you guys would really like this. I bought it even though I had it. Yeah, because these are hard to come by. Yeah, well, a lot of the reference books aren't in print anymore, so you have to buy them used. And this is in great shape. And they're normally expensive. All right, so where are we at? Vintage of Vino's at 16. Oh, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that girl. Which one? She's fancy. She looks like she There's can work at the Tropicana with Desi Arnaz. What's the Tropicana? The baseball field? I Love Lucy. That is the club that Ricky oh. sings at. You don't know nothing about Seinfeld, so. No, I don't. Or even. Looks like Joanne is at 20. Okay. And. Vintage Divino is out. Look at that one. It's like a clock face. Alrighty. <laughs> Pamela says she loves Lucy. It's not I bad. I watch it with her, Lucy. but... Uh, oh, look, Joanne, they have clown ones. Here's said the base coat field. Yeah. The Tropicana, that's what it is. Yeah, that is the name of our thing. For the race. I love Seinfeld too, Katie. I Tropicana. know every episode front yeah. to back. It's like me with like Lucy or Golden Girls. Okay, so we, it, Seinfeld is funny. He, when he does their, um, like he says things from it, it's pretty funny. That's why I always want to see Elena go, Elaine. Uh, Vintage of Vino's at 21. She <laughs> changed my mind. I think that was Peter Min was her boss, not... That's the one that did Elaine. Seinfeld was hilarious. Okay, so Vintage Vino's. 21. I don't know who was left with them. Was it? Um, um, it was them and I think. Was it? A Joanne, I think. Joanne? Yep. Yes, We've Carol. used these quite a bit, oh, actually. Yeah. And you've had other people contact you because they knew you had one and asked you about it. So. Yeah, like, hey, will you look in your book? Like, I used to write D all the time. And I've, I've done it to Katie, too. If, I, if Katie will look in a book and like, hey, I can't find this in my book. Can you look in your books? Well, and, that's what it's like. Like, I was asking Nate the other day oh, information yeah. mm -hmm. about the, uh, the Wedgwood. Yeah. But then you'll get some people that won't tell you stuff. Mm. 
they want you to figure it out all on your own. Um, right, Annette, that's about all I know. No soup for you. No soup for you, that's it? No, and I think the one that's funny when um, he had his uh, fiance that he didn't like lick all the envelopes and then she did. Well, he didn't purposely do that. No, but he really didn't want to marry her either. He bought, he was marrying her out of spite. And he bought the cheapest envelopes just because he's cheap. And they happen to be like poisonous. But then he got hurt on envelopes later on in the series. He tripped and fell on an envelope. Come full circle. Okay, Joanne's at 22. Vintage and Vino, are you out? Another one that's funny is the Curb Your Enthusiasm that Larry David did on, I think it was Showtime. Vintage and Vino's at 24. That one's a little more. You have, you and Jenna, well, I think my mom's seen it too, have been watching like Shit's Creek or Schitt's something. Shit's Creek, I've watched it, yeah, that's a hilarious show. It's like their whole family, like real families, most of it's in that. It's pretty cool. I love, well, it's not really funny, funny, but Lucifer on Hulu. Like, that's a newer show. Joanne's at 25. Oh, mom wasn't watching. Okay, it was just Jenna. It's, it's a good show. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Super Nazi. Did you, Pamela? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm out. Okay. $25. Sorry to crunch on camera, but girls gotta do what a girl gotta do. $25 going once. $25 going twice. <clears throat> okay, sold. Hmm. Angela's definitely seen that show. I like Stevie in that show. I got it. Well, my mouth was full. <laughs> okay, so we have I think Stevie's Joanne, my character. Precious Lavender Buttons for $25. For number 11. Number 11. You too? She's great. But you know that uh, Twyla is his sister and then that's his dad in real life. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I also like period shows. Like I love... Um... Oh my gosh, I just lost it. The one I was having you watch. That Harlots thing? Oh, I love Harlots. But I mean, that's another kind of period show, but the revolutionary one. George Washington Turn the Spies or yeah, something, stuff like turn. that. Yeah, Turn. George Washington Spies. Well, it's not bad. I like stuff like that. That's my favorite, the Revolutionary War. See, all these people are saying they like Shit's Creek. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get her to watch it. You would probably like it. It's very I watched good. some of it with it's you. It's very good writing. It's hilarious. Mm. Queen's Gambit. But I was watching yeah, we that. Watching she that. made me watch that and fell asleep, and I kept watching yep. it for like two days straight. Yep. Sleepy Hollow. I love that one, Mom. I've rewatched that so many times. The Sleepy Hollow show, not the movie. I mean, I've seen the movie a bunch of times, but the Sleepy Hollow show. All right. Um, Zoo is good too. Never heard of that one. Ranch. Ranch, I think we might have seen. Little House on the Prairie. Gosh, my mom used to watch that when I was a kid. Yeah, Queen's Gambit's good. That, I don't know the girl that played that actress, but she she killed it. That look she made. Okay, the next thing we have are these mid-century Lucite bookends. These are going to start $20 for the pair. So, if they don't do too well, they sell pretty well on eBay. They do have, on the corner back here, a boo-boo. Right there. Peterson's a sci-fi nerd? I didn't know that. But you can't see it from the front. Huh. Very cool. Ah. <sighs> Huge, huge. She's a huge sci-fi fan. Didn't, and your mom likes sci-fi. They're making a prequel to Supernatural. How really? do you do a prequel? Because same way you do them with like Star Wars. So are they going to start off when they were like a kid, like showing what happened to their mother. Or it could be other characters leading up to where, mm. like, I'm sure they can always find a way. They can bring people back to I life. I love in Supernatural. These shows. 
I've seen that show like 52,000 times. That's a lot because there's like 25 seasons yeah, right. of it. Right, there's that show was on for a long time. I love paranormal stuff too, Mary. Okay, it's called The Winchesters. <gasps> Bianca's gonna die. How do you not even know that? I hardly get to watch TV. Okay. So nothing for those, okay. No. All right, how about do a brooch or something? Or another book. What's your, here, and here comes your mom, favorite Star Trek series. Oh boy. Kimberly gave up. But you know, he doesn't stay that way. Who's that? She's saying she gave up on season 10 when they made Dean all douchey. He didn't stay that way. Mm -hmm. They just said they're doing a prequel to Supernatural. Like, Girl. it's called The Winchesters. I can't. What? I thought you would be excited. I am excited, but after what they did with Misha and Jensen in the last episode. Oh, Lordy. No. I mean, I'll watch it, but like, that stuck, man. They said. They okay, said Virginia. Castiel to Mega Hell after. You can't tell me. I haven't seen the last one yet. Well, I don't care. Uh, Castiel goes, I love you, Dean. And they, like, hold hands or whatever. And then he gets sent to hell. <laughs> and I was like, wow, okay. That's how they ended the whole dang show? Yep, yep. Cass had to go to hell? Yep. <gasps> Not fair. Not confessing his love. I can't do it. Oh, okay. Oh, like, in a bad way? I don't know. Or was it saying in the tune thing? No, it's still beeping. Okay. What do you want to do, one of these? Or something, is there a flat price thing? You can do another one of these things. All right, there we go, hand me that box. Now, remember, it's not that one, it's... See, look. I see. All right. Right there, it's this number. No, it's not. Oh, it's... Oh, you put a number on each of them? I had to. All right, what we got is another one of those doily dealios. She's got quite a few of these lots, I guess. There's 10 pieces in them. Same basic color, I guess, like the cream white looking stuff. I get the number on there for you. Not that it matters. 10 pieces in there, it is $20 and number 29. And we got couple more of these if you guys are interested in them. So $20 number 29 for the 10 piece lot of doilies. She's got to go turn the washing machine on apparently. Okay looks like Joanne Thank you, Joanne. Can I have a popcorn? You guys always ask me for food when we're doing this. So I can't say no. You that tell me that's not planned. It's, it's completely planned. It's yes, that's no fun doing the wash. Let me write you down. What are you laughing at over there? <laughs> you want to say hi, Jerbel? My mom's gone. Hi. That's not what I meant. Hi. All right. What do we have next? Yes. So do I, Aaron. ones. Nah. I think I'm going to do this little guy here. I'm making you broke. <laughs> we do have this little frog guy with a little bouncing like tongue and arms. I don't see anything on the bottom. He's pretty small. Why are you doing out here? Is there an E 
and it is an offer up item. It is starts at $12. I don't see any kind of markings at the bottom. But I think I think Danny got a couple of like turtles from us like this that did this. They're just pretty interesting. Pottery froggy, yes. Everybody's got to do laundry today. Again, it starts at $12. I think Peterson typed that in there. No, you can't put a popsicle back in the fridge. I cut it and I can do it like No. This. Eat it. Okay. You asked for it. And they can have go through. After you eat your popsicle, you can't stick a popsicle back in the fridge. You guys think a fridge is a garbage can. There's always empty cups and everything in there. I'm just getting my Nintendo. All right. Thanks for the heads up. All right, next I will do this planter. It is going to be an offer up starting at 15. It's got a little poodle on there. Yes, you can eat over there. I'll get the tape measure and let you know how big it is. Yeah, the joys of being a parent, right? And it is about six inches tall. I'm on this guy here. Okay. I don't know, I don't see any markings at the bottom or anything. You got it handled? I think. All right. No go. I will put this aside. All right, we will move on then. I'll have Alexandra pick something. Did the thing sell this? Oh, I put it over here, yes. I told him you had a couple more. Here's your pen back. Okay. Sorry, what about guys. one of these? Okay. We have a three piece brooch lot. These are in like such good shape. These go right along with that purse. It's gonna start at 30, so about $10 a brooch. So this is the first one you get. They're all enameled. This is the first one. It's gonna start at $30. You get all three of them? Yep. Then you get this giant one. And this one. Normally, these are so... For, for one, normally they're gross. <laughs> Two, the paint is always missing on these. Always. But like I said before, I don't think the person wore them. So you get those two. And then this one. So see, they're pretty big. This one's the smallest. All right, so we have humbled in him at 30. Yeah, you could. And it'll look like a little garden. Oh, that's awesome, Pat. <laughs> Dolores is at 35. Pat says she's wearing the same shirt today. Oh, 
I'm dropping chips. And Bianca Joseph vacuumed the whole house so Gabriel could mop. Um, Joanne's at 36. Yeah, these are neat. These are neat. I told him to make food instead of. You have the shirt in blue? <laughs> yeah, it's a... try spicy Pringles. They are fuego. I am I like some spicy things and some I don't. Not so much. I don't think you do spicy. More like mild. That's spicy for you. Yeah. Wow. All right. So humbled in him is out. So we're at thirty-six dollars. So thirty-six dollars going once. Oh, Dolores is at forty. Joanna said she she's sitting on her hands. <laughs> The red one. Oh. Yeah, those are neat. Didn't you say these are the enamel or something? Mm-hmm. Very cool. Okay. Joanne's out. Dolores is at 40. Okay. All right. So, $40 going once. $40 going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold. Okay. Wait for the Peterson. All right. And that is number 25. Thank you. Number 25 for $40. It wouldn't be a sale without the laundry people, or laundry. Laundry's on my brain. Um, lawn Whoa. people outside. Well, with all that rain, you're gonna hear that a lot. You wanna do another one? You want another brooch lot? These two are signed. I'm, I can't find my jewelry loop to read the signature though. Is it though. in your desk? Was it in there? I have like I two or three of them. <laughs> Super dry there. Oh, there I told you. Look at that. It's even got a little light on it. Mm -hmm. Fancy. It's bright. It's upside down. Come on. Don't the phones do that too? Um, does that say lady? I don't know. I'm getting a reflection of the light oh, off sorry. of the chrome. Dang it. Lady something. It says lady something. I think. Or Lucy Lee, Lady Lee, something like that. Judy Lee. Oh, wow. Oops. Oh. oh. I'm glad you, you got them then. Yeah. Dolores. All right, so these are signed. You get. Let me see the little loop. Oh, two of them. Two of them. Yes. They're in really great shape and they're signed. These start at twenty dollars. For the pair. For the pair. Cookie Lee. I don't know. He's gonna see. Pamela's at twenty. <laughs> they're gonna start laughing like he's gonna see. Humble than him's at 21. Is there a focus button on this thing? No, you just have to move it and see. Sometimes it's hard though because they're trying to signature in metal, you know? And these are pretty big. They're not, you know, they're a pretty big size. They are, is that? Oh, that's over there. They're about two inches. Yeah, I can't see that. Um, Pamela Hammett's at 22. I can't even figure out how to turn that off. Well, that was nice idea. But not to do that. 
I know, but everyone can hear you. I think it's Judy Lee. Someone says it, Virginia, Judy Lee. Yeah, I think it's Judy Lee. Okay, Judy Lee. All right, so jewelry by Denise. Hi, Peacock Parlor. Is that 25? Hello. And look, that center is green. Let me see. Yeah, and this one is like cobalt blue. Hmm. See? Cool. And these stones on the outside are like clear and these are cobalt. All right, so Jewelry by Denise is at 25. Okay, Pamela's out. out. Okay, okay, so $25 going once. $25 going, nope, $26. I'll just get a Pringle. Wait. Oh, you get a Pringle. Did you help him? That was so nice of you. Such a good sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. Humble than him is at 27. You sure there's not a focus button on this thing? No. You just kind of move it in and out. Oh. Okay, Jewelry by Denise is at 27. Just let us know if you guys are out. Why do I use this? You want to pull in a chair up in here? Eat, eat at the kitchen. Like yeah, eat right counter, there. Like on the counter. Humble to him is out. Okay. Humble All right, so $27 going once. $27 going twice. Ooh, about to drop it. No. Okay, we're going to say sold. Well, I think. I think maybe Pamela renews it 13 snuck in there. And we'll see. Oh, she, she did. did. Pamela 13 is at $28, and that's number 26. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. We do have one more lot of four, I think, right? Yep, we do. So. The next thing, this is a flat-priced item. I have a, a small hanky lot. I found a few more when I was going through that bin. This one's gonna be $15 and you get four handkerchiefs. So you get this one. You get this one with a bit of embroidery. Let me see if I'm, there we go, that's the right side. You get, where is it, this one. You get this one. I love the ones with the flowers on the side. And this one. So you get all those for $15 and it's number 36. Let me write that in. Okay. All right, $15 number 36, Pamela Hammett. All right. All right, Miss Pamela, thank you. That would be a nice sh like ship if in your eBay store kind of a light item you know yes all right so the next we have another i have another lot like i didn't know what else to do with these i picked out all the colorful ones and give them to you guys so um this is another 10 piece lot again um i went through it as the best i could and i didn't put any in here that have like i have an as is lot that has like some some um I don't know if it's a stain. A stain is different than a spot on your item. So I don't, I haven't laundered them to see if they would come out. But anyways, um, there's 10 in this lot. It's $20 and these are doilies and like dresser scarf sizes. Uh, uh, 10 in this lot, it's $20. 
and it's number 32. So, but anyways, I have an as is lot where there's like 20 something in there. And the as is lot, like if I notice something on it or if some of the stitching came apart or whatever that stuff is called, it, if it's separated. So there's an as is lot. Yeah, we could do that one next. I'm just waiting. I don't, I know. this hasn't done anything. I didn't see there was right on there. Yeah, I looked at it. Did you? I don't see anything for this. To refresh it? Mm hmm. Um, okay, so I don't see anything for that one. Live chat. Okay, so number five didn't go. Skaboot intermission. Go ahead. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Coming to you after my nap. I think he farted. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. That's butters. He used to fart on us a lot. I'll move your little tag. All right. So I have this giant, it's a large priority box. Um, I was going to make it a, like, not show you guys what's in it, but for the most part, they're like, it's going to start at $30. It's four pounds, so you get all kinds of Christmas stuff from, like, a bunch of these, like, wooden guys. There's a ton of them at the bottom, and you get, like, a few of these guys. There's a Santa guy. There's a bag of bottle brush trees. Um, there's all, there's these like napkin rings. There's some Christmas swizzle stick, like snowmen. Little miniature wooden ornaments. Oh, little mini golden books. Christmas golden books. Um, Krista Morgan's at thirty dollars. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff yeah, in these, here. There's a ton. Like a bunch of different, lots of the wooden guys. A lot of the, my wooden stuff I gave away last year in our Christmas packages. That, or you know, if you bought something. Oh yes. I would say, look at this. Look, there's one of the Santas in there. Angel. So I was gonna do like a you can't see it, what's in there type thing, but I would kind of want to know. Yep. Um, let's see, Shirley Pearl's at 35. Hi, DIY with Suzanne. Yep, you can do all kinds of crafting with this. There's um, some of these. I don't know what you would call these, but I know these are really vintage. These little, I don't know what they are, but they're like the bottle brush trees. Krista Morgan's at 40. Um, if I find anything else and if it fits, because we're kind of, we're just going to put it like this and maybe put a little bit of bubble wrap on the top and send it as it is so that all the stuff still fits. Because if we try and wrap it individually, it's not going to fit back fit. in the box. Yep. Shirley's at 41. I mean, there's like the cookie cutters. I mean, look at these. All kinds of little ornaments that me and the kids bought. We were gonna do like assemblage things and never got around to it, of course. There, the, I thought this, the little Scotty dog huh? was sewn on this thing. A little 4th of July bear. He's not Christmas, but he was one of the wooden things. Kind of go. 
there's some of these like picks in there. All right, so Shirley's at 41. Michael, you mean Aaron? Who? Where's Michael? What do you mean, Marty? You mean Aaron? Oh, no, well, I don't know where Michael is. No idea. Probably working. Um, okay, so let's see. We are in Florida. Suzanne, we're in Florida. So we have Shirley at 41. Shirley, you're getting a deal. So $41 going once. $41 going twice. Okay, I'm gonna say sold and we'll see what pops up. No, I tried to, I redid it. I took out the little packs and I put liquid instead. I think that's where it got stuck because it was thinking there's no soap or something. <coughs> well, you got it open, but it needs to be closed so it can continue. It was oh, what the heck? Uh -oh. <sighs> okay, so Shirley got it. I have to go look at it then. Um, number 24. For $41. What a deal. Okay. That's a flat price thing you can do. Well, I can go. I guess we'd have to. Put the liquid in there, I thought. I did put it in there, but oh. I thought that was what was the problem. All right, Angela, thanks for coming. Good luck. All right, we have a little pottery mug, it looks like here. It's a flat priced item. <coughs> it does say Pensbury Pottery, Mooresville, PA. One side's got the rooster, the other side's got some kind of little tree. And let me tell you how tall it is. It is four and a half inches tall, and it is flat price $12, number nine. $12, number nine. Cute, it is cute. PA Pottery, yep. Lois, thank you, Lois. And that's uh, obviously number nine. Let me write it in a book here. What are you watching over there? Too many spirits for Ryan and Shane from Busted and Saul. Have some drinks and talk about ghost stories. And it's very fun. Ooh, sounds interesting. What? Mm -hmm. I thought that sees that um, show was discontinued though. Maybe it is discontinued. June 18th. Mm -hmm. so so okay. Next is an offer up item. It's a vase. I find this interesting because of the top. It does not glow before you ask. We definitely checked. There's the inside there. Bottom. And I gotta see how tall this is. How tall is this? Starts at $20. About it's 10 about, inches. About 10 inches tall. And it's like green at the bottom with the, what do you call that up there? 
Like a carnival glass? Like a carnival glass. It, when I I took a picture it's really and it's neat. trying to say that it's Northwood. Now I don't know if Northwood did not mark all of their pieces, but it's not marked. So I don't know if it's Northwood. I can't tell you that. No. But there is the bottom shows you the green. So we have. Red. Yes, Suzanne, we're live. And then there's the top there with the ruffles. Do we have Gia at twenty dollars? Mm-hmm. Ten inches tall. G is at twenty dollars. You got a two-way tie there, it looks like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Krista at 21. Thanks, Krista. Everyone is saying it looks like Northwood, so maybe you were right. Yeah, it's just not marked. Christine at 25. Krista's at 30. like kind of how it fades into the, the carnival glass kind of look Christine at 35 you might have to start a collection of these yeah I wanted to yeah right it's midnight now there okay oh wow it's only three in the afternoon here is it? Yep. If Northwood 1908 925. Gee, uh, 40. And I got some new boxes to ship these things. Yes. Let's hope. Yeah, it's 16 by 6 by 6. Oh, I it'll think definitely the fit size. this. With good padding. So Christine's out. Gia. Uh, He's at 40. Krista's out. So I think. Okay, you're if you want to call it. So we're going to start calling it. Going once. Going twice, sold, or stop. And wait for... Thin rim base. There it is. All right, so, so we have Gia, Gia Schaefer, Schaefer for number five. Isn't that who we just got the box for? Um, Marty? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who we just got the other, the boxes came in yesterday. <laughs> yes, and I got that thing boxed up. Yep. It'll so, be going to the post office if today. we finish in a timely manner. <laughs> Thank you, Gia. You got it written down? Gia Schaefer. 440, right? Yes, ma'am. You're going to love it. Should I flat these instead? Or no? This guy's cool. What? Maybe. Ow! Oh, he's just jumping on he you. He's excited. He likes you. It. Okay, if you start that, I'll fix okay. these. So. This guy is cool. He is cool. Little, what is this thing? It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Look at his teeth. He starts nice. at $12. Starts at $12. It is stamped Japan at the bottom. Now I see what you guys go through trying to get this to focus here, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not very easy. Mm -mm. It's. Maybe about four inches tall. I don't have the tape measure, but I'm gonna say it is about four inches tall. Let's see here. No, I was wrong. About four and a half inches tall. It is cute. I agree. Back. <laughs> cute little teeth. Again, there's the bottom. 4.5 inches tall, Peterson says. <laughs> to the point there. Um, what are you? We have Judy at 16. Just okay. kind of helping you keep up with it. Thank you. Now you're my helper. <laughs> so good for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it would be. Gumpy, what Look are at you the doing? Little bump. Gump, come on, buddy. You can't do that. You want to say hello to people? 
He, he looks... goes back to my original videos, guys. Yeah, he's he gets so scared. Say hi, I'm Gumpy. And let me down. That's what he's saying. DIY mm -hmm. with Suzanne. Now back to Judy. Okay, don't scratch me. Yeah, he's the original. The OG, the original Yeah, gummy. he used to knock down my tripod and everything in all my videos before, like, editing was a thing. He's a strange cat. He, like, can't stay still. When you pet him. When you pet Look, him. Look, he got, got back up here. Look, he came right back up. Look at this guy. Why are you <laughs> acting like that lately? We named him Gump because, you know, like, Forrest Gump, that movie? Um... He's not the brightest, but he's like the most lovable cat. Yes. He wants love from everyone. He's standing on my lap, as you can see his tail. Now. Okay, we have Judy at 21. Stop. Stop. Okay, is there one? Who was the other one? DIY with Suzanne, I think. Yeah, Judy's at 21. We're paused. Yeah, we're way behind, I think. He is a big guy. Okay, <coughs> so I'm gonna start to call it. $21 going once. Can I have my marker, please? $21 going twice. Okay, we're gonna say sold. Okay, All so right. we have Judy Scallop for $21. Thank you, Judy. Oh, <laughs> that's another thing he does. He's so heavy. Wow. All right, the next thing we have is this cute little bird, little mid-century bird figurine. So cute. His little, whatever he would have been, maybe Japan or something, they put felt on his feet. But he's going to be $14, and he's number 14. 14 for 14. Don't be rude. What is your deal over there, buddy? $14, number 14. Oh, Cindy. Cindy. J. All right, Cindy J. Did you do the other books? No. Nope. She, she might be waiting Okay. I may, I turned it into a flat crease. Okay. Copy. We have, I'm not sure, this doesn't have a copyright date, so that probably dates it, but it's called Pretty Pictures for Bright Eyes, and it does have a lot of wear, but it has a great um, cover, and the inside, the spine is, like, the papers are loose from the spine, but it has lots of, like, pictures and stuff on the inside. Um like stories, just pictures and stuff. But this book is $18 and it's number three. Oh, what did she say? So $18 number three you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. For the antique children's book. And you you do have the jewelry thing too over there, don't you? Okay. I don't want to forget these either. Okay. I mean, if they want them, they don't. I can go through them real quick. Angie Gordon. All right. Number, well, you said three. And she put in three, so. Thank you, Angie. Don't, don't lick stuff. He's acting weird. All right. Weird. This is the as is bag. This is filled with stuff um like this looks like it might have been part of like a little baby thing you know um so there's a couple of those in there and then like i'm just going to give you an example why it's as is but they're still like beautiful i don't know if it can be fixed and so i was just selling it this way like there's this beautiful piece that has that right there so, yeah, but there's a bunch, like, there's this piece that has, like, this kind of broken, but you get 20 pieces in here. It's $20, and it's number seven, and it's got, like, from big to small, like, big pieces, 
small pieces. It's 20 pieces for $20. And I think I said number seven. It's not number seven. It's lot number seven. It actually be number 34. Brigia, type number 34. See, it's lot number seven because I had seven of them. So that's my fault. And these were all in this bag? At one point yes, one. type number 34. Brigia. Bria Gia. You had this closed? No, okay. <laughs> I shoved it so much it would right. it wasn't gonna Making fit. Sure I wasn't so doing that's number wrong. thirty-four. Sorry about that. Yeah. I like had these made before we like did our list and thought I was like, oh I'm on a roll and you no were I didn't. But you weren't. Okay, so then I have Yeah. Another one of those, okay. I had quite a few of them. You did. So this one is 10 pieces again it has at first i wasn't gonna really sh i'm not gonna show show but i'll give you an idea 10 pieces right look i mean all kinds of different designs and stuff there's 10 it's 20 dollars and it's number 28. let me write it down before i mess it up again but 10 things $20, number 28. All right, precious lavender buttons. I know when I go to St. Vincent, they mark these individually like 10 and $15 a piece um, because I think they get that there was a lot of work that went into those, you know? Some people, they just forget. So, number 28, we had Joanne Precious Lavender Buttons. What is she? Is she being a pain? Ah, people. Is it going? Yes. It's like doing the thing that goes back and forth. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? So that goes over there. Okay. Did you have a name on this one or no? Did I write? Oh, all right, all right. It's Joanne. First of all, your buttons. Okay, okay. Here's here's one. This has smaller pieces, but there's 22 of them, and they're they're all okay. I just put them together because they were little. They were like littler ones. Like look how little some of them are. 22 pieces. I don't know what that was supposed to be. I just kind of threw that in there. I'm just having trouble with my washer in general. There's this, but they're like all... So 22 of them. All different sizes, but, but smaller. Like all different kinds. See? All different kinds. Um, it's 22 pieces, $22, um, and it's number 35. Number 35. Yeah, Virginia, she's not, they're not really blocked. They only stay gone for about, I think it's like 90 seconds or some crap like that. They're only in timeout for a short amount of time. Okay. No one that one? I don't think so. Okay, you wanna do your Oops, sorry, I did cut up a defect. Your brooches? Sure. Okay. All right. You get four brooches. Again, these are in fantastic shape. Yes, they are. They're gonna, the lot starts at $40. There's four of them. You get these two. And these two. So all of these. They're in really good shape. They came from the same lady that had the enamel ones. I guess they just never 
wore anything. <laughs> no. Christine says, where's Belinda? Yeah, Belinda likes these things. All right, so I guess we'll move on from that. Okay. Um. I thought that was cool. It, it's, it's saying start at 40 now. Are we that far behind? No. No, because okay. it shows you looking at it. Um, okay, so move on to the next thing, I guess. Okay. I'll just change these. We got a flat priced item here. It's a cat. Is it planter? I think it's a something. You can make them a planter. You can make them a planter. You can heck, put your toothbrush in there. I don't know. It looks like it's got like hair. Mm -hmm. Don't it? Nothing. Yeah. It, no. I think it's Japan, but she does look like she has like hair up there. Mm-hmm. It is... She had a fun night. That's all I got to say. $18, number 22. Yep. And it's taller. It's, yeah, I was just going to say that. It's six and a half inches tall. Mm, I don't know if I'll do those last two. Angie Gordon. Angie Gordon. All right, Angie. Let me write it down. Thank you. I thought it was neat. Mm-hmm. Could be because it's a cat, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's... What you looking for? The, did you try the Wiggly Frog? Mm -hmm. Nobody bought it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well... He was gone for a while the original time, so I had to just move on. Okay. I've never seen such an empty page in a long time. Yes. Okay, there you go. You can do that. Um, okay. We have this vase. We couldn't, we found similar ones, but couldn't find this exact one. Um, I think that it's pretty old. It's there right. is like some sort of markings on the vase. Like, I don't think it's its maker, just its pattern. They almost look, I don't know, Asian esque? Yeah, it looks something like Something like that. But, anyways, we were going to start this one at $30. Wait, Dolores got the brooches? I don't know. Start at 40, end at 40. Oh, I guess right there. Okay. Oh, okay, I see it. All right, well, I'll write it down then. I guess so. We're... What I, number is that? It's number 27. Of course the phone is Thank you, Dolores. Yeah, thank you. What are you saying over there, Bianca? I was gonna go, like... Stop. She's gonna stop the phone from ringing. Oh, okay. But, um, it's not fair, because why would it be in a place with a phone? All right, so... So, this was starting at 30. I don't know... It's... I think what's, it's nothing's on the bottom. Incredibly cool. Yeah. But, it's very neat. And it's taller. Yeah, it's... Some of them that we find like this are those, the, you know, the small ones. It's got to be a good, what? It's about eight and a quarter inches tall. Oh, you're welcome, Dolores. I wasn't looking this way. And that I'll miss up there. Yeah, it's hard to see that up there. Humble and him. Humble and him's at 30. I think it's beautiful. It doesn't it glow. It's not cased, but I really do think that it's older. I think, I mean, in my opinion, it's, I don't see like... Well, there is a mold line, but it was a double mold because it had to be different on the front versus the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to research this thing was not easy. No. And there's not not a lot to go off, and not really anything to go off of. Oh, well, technically you guys can't block anyone from my channel. All you can do is put them in timeout. They would have to be blocked by the channel owner. Hello, Sue. 
Hi, oh. Sue. Okay, so we have Humbled and Him going once for $30. Going twice for $30. And sold for $30. Well, we'll see what it's sold for. I keep forgetting that. That's okay. You'll there we go. So 15. Humbled. In. There is an option for a hiding user on this channel. Huh. Yeah, I don't know much about that stuff. Yeah, I think it's worth more too. Um, that was going to be something that we were going to put on eBay, but Aaron wanted to try it in the sale. So we took a risk. Hey, that's part of it. This little cat here keeps staring at you too. I put him as a flat price if okay. you want to try that. All right. Okay. What was the maker of that? Remember you looked it Tony. up? Tony. Tony Wood. Tony Wood. Is it a, it's is a cat creamer. It's a cat creamer. I like the colors of it. And it does say Tony Wood at the bottom. Don't know much about Tony Wood, but uh, let's see here. It is about five inches tall. This little kitty creamer. It's eighteen dollars, number six. Hello $18 Kitty. That's right. Eighteen dollars, number six. You can sing it. Eighteen dollars, number six. Oh yeah, that's right. We changed it. I'm like, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Sue Kolombeski. Because it was that basket. Oh. Remember, we oh, switched it out. And it kind of broke. That's right. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, thank you, Sue. All right. Our last item for the day. We have... A basket, right? Purse. Purse. That's a basket. Or a sewing basket. All right. We have this we'll guy right that. here. It does have a little bit of... I don't know if, like, a sticker got on there or something... Um, but it says made expressly for, I think it's Papagallo and it's got like a quilted pattern on the inside. This is, was going to start at $15, $15 for this guy. Um, I can reshow the seagull if you want. $15. So you can use this as like your sewing basket or whatever. On the top it says they painted, it's hand painted. It says art gallery, imports and exports, bonnet boutique, Papagallo, and shop. Oh, got a whole little Netty little for 15 there, and huh? then you got that there. That would be cute set out for like your 4th of July or whatever. It has a little doggy painted on it. Hmm. All right, so fifteen dollars. Nope, sixteen dollars. She, <laughs> she got a new desk over there. Good she? for snacks. <laughs> I was thinking that. Put your sandwiches in there. Your your uncrustables. Mm hmm. Nettie's at twenty. I like finding these. Not all the time do we find them where we could resell them. No. There you go, LaDonna. She says they're great to hide your crap in on the kitchen counter. Your crap? Your crap. Okay. So we're at $20. 20 dollars. That wouldn't fit all your crap in it. Going once? Probably not. You need like a Rubbermaid been up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. $20 going twice. Okay, we're going to say sold. And we'll see what happens. <sighs> All right, Pamela 13 for $22. No. No, humbled in him. Humbled in him for $23. I was reading the, I need a dozen for my crap. 
<laughs> so Humbleton <laughs> Hen got it for $23 because I was distracted. That's number one. Number one. One good number. There you go. Cool deal. Oops. All right. So that's that's it. Other than the other doily lots. Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. People are leaving really quickly, so I'm going to say goodbye. And see you Sunday, right? Yes, Sunday. Thanks and for coming. Yeah. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. All right. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.